Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And in the last video, we built this thing that I'm standing in right now, which is this cool movie set uh, in the corner of Stampy's movie studio. And uh, I usually start my videos outside, kind of walking around the paths and stuff like that, but um, I can't get out. I can't. There's supposed to be a pressure plate here. I didn't put that in last time, but uh, we're going to rectify that right now. Uh, we'll just plop it right down on top of that tile. And, oh, yes, the free air. Oh, look, there is the, what's his name? Rainbow Bird. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't remember what your name was. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with names, Mr. Birdie. But um, anyway, you're going to stay out here because um, you can't activate. I don't know. Could you land on this plate and actually get in there? I bet you you could if you really tried. Stuck your mind to it. Uh, so yeah, in today's video, we're going to finish this up. This is going to be a little bit shorter video than usual, but that's okay. Uh, that way we can uh, get on and uh, enjoy uh, the rest of the day that we uh, that we have for ourselves planned, I'm sure. So uh, we're going to start with the, uh, the the darker sort of part of this uh, half. We're going to be doing the uh, the cave here in the back first. And uh, it's mostly, really, it's mostly just a bunch of uh, cobblestone, really. And uh, we're going to have to get rid of these torches. And in fact, uh, when we're when we get to do the ceiling, um, let me just fly here. We're gonna have to move some of these levers. They're in the way, and uh, the ceiling's gonna bump right up against these uh, uh, lime uh, limestone. <laughs> limestone how about redstone redstone uh, lanterns i think lanterns and l kind of got mixed together anyway uh, so those are going to end up going uh on the sides there but um we'll, we'll get to that in just a bit so uh let's get right to it we're gonna i'm gonna have my helper do a lot of this uh cup you know some of the the back walls are going to be uh, really easy so what we're going to do is um uh, unlike these the, you know, unlike this part, this this part went right all the way up to the ceiling. These next two pieces, they do not go all the way up to the ceiling. They only go up to the seventh block, right up, as I said, uh, to the level that's right where these uh, where these levers currently are. Uh, so we'll get to to that in just a minute. So let's do from, so from the wall. The wall is going to go right up to here. Obviously, we're going to you know we're not going to go into the uh, sandstone part at all. That's fine. Uh, so you're just going to leave two blocks at the top there. So that should give us one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So seven is the magic number that we're looking for here. Uh, so yeah, so you know we can just uh, you know put uh, uh, cobblestone all over this wall, just make it flat, and then we're going to add some more details on top of it to to finish it off and uh, make it authentically like Stampy's. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to move some of these torches or remove them completely. Uh, so basically, we want to do that exact same thing at that same height. Going all the way around, so you, you want to bump right into this uh, the blue sky over here for the uh, for the outdoor set here. So let's just add that uh, those two sides in. That looks good. Uh, and oh, look at my helper added some torches on the in there just to kind of keep the lighting up. That's good. All right. So at this point, this is where we have to start moving these uh, these levers. So I'm just gonna yeah, I have some levers on me. So we're just gonna we're gonna pop them off the bottom, and uh, we're gonna put them on the sides. And uh, again, we don't really need two. You know, one on each side is exactly how he has it. Uh, so what's exactly what we're going to do uh, here? So let's just take the, the that one. Uh, let's see, this one, no, uh, that one's okay. We just have to, anything that's going to touch this ceiling, which is okay. So now uh, the, just these two over here. We'll do these and turn that one on. And for what it's worth, put that one on there. And doop, doop, and last one. Okay, so the prison will the prison ceiling is going to be at the same height. Did I mention that? It's going to be at the same exact height uh, as the uh, ceiling for this one. So now we have plenty of room. The ceiling's going to rub right up right up against these suckers right here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and have my helper add. You're going to add it right at that seventh block height. So you know, right here. This is that's where your ceiling's going to be. Uh, so let's add that in. And now we can start uh, adding some details down in here. You can see there's a this little kind of uh, two block high space up here now. If you've uh, I've done what I've done here, so uh, let's get uh, let's just do uh, let's start with the back wall. Then the side walls will be a little easier to, to kind of fill in. I'm sure I'll have to you know move these torches wherever. Uh, so I'm just going to grab my regular cobblestone and on this back wall. Uh, let's see. Let's start with up in the corner here. We're going to put four blocks going across, starting in the corner. And it, I know it's kind of hard to see the cobblestone against the cobblestone, but uh, hopefully this will be all right. So then on the third block in, we're going to add one more here. Uh, and then let's do the bottom. Bottom left-hand corner, there's uh, three here. 
and then there's one more on the end that sticks out. This is the only place where one extra one sticks out. And then back into the corner, just add two and leave leave that one empty so it uh, looks like that. Uh, so let's see, right next to this. Oh yes, here it is, right in the middle, right right in the way, I should say. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to move that torch out of here, and I'll just put it here. It looks like that's safe for now. It's not permanent, but it's that's fine for right now. Uh, okay, so right caddy corner to that last block there. We're going to start here, and we're going to go all the way down to the floor. Uh, we should have one block space between he these two here. Uh, and then on the third block up, one, two, three, right below that where my current torch is, uh, we're going to put one block there, and then two blocks to the right of that. And then right on that last one, go up one, and then to the right one there. And uh, at the very top of this row, this column that we put there, I should say, uh, we put one here. And this is where an actual torch goes. I'm going to remove this one now. So there's an actual torch that goes in that spot there. Uh, and then caddy corner to that one here, uh, right up against the ceiling, is going to be one more. Uh, then we're going to skip this one and add two to the right of that one. Okay, and then let's go down into this area here. Uh, let's see. So this goes down. Oh, there needs to be one more on the bottom there, kind of a little foot that kind of sticks out there, and a torch that sits on the ground there. Well, that's, that helps quite a bit there. So it's not attached to the wall. It just sits on the floor. And then to the right of that, we're going to add three blocks going along. And then on top of that, we're going to add just two blocks at a time. And then on that last one, we're going to go up and add one there. So that leaves that little hole. And then we're going to add one to the right of that one. And then not in this block, but one out from it. We're going to leave that hole there and put that there. And exactly where this torch is, we have to put a block. Of course we do. Uh, but there is a torch just to the right of that one. So that's good. Uh, good timing there. Uh, okay, so at the top here, this is moving right along here. Don't you? This is like a kind of a weird uh, terrain video. Uh, okay, so from here, right above that torch, uh, we're going to go four to the right into the corner. One, two, three, four. That takes us right into the corner there. Uh, and then let's go back to the first one. Uh, actually, to the second one, we're going to go down two. And then one to the right. And then that is going to go straight down to the floor. We're going to add one on the right side. And before I leave this column right up here, we're going to add one more and leave that little spot there. It should be three right there. Uh, let's see. So now over here, we just need to add two into this column and then one to the left of it. And there we go. That That is, that is the back wall uh, looking done like that. Does that help? I'm just going to kind of slowly scroll over here so anybody who's looking like... Uh, they're just fast forwarding to this part. That's the cheaters. You're not listening to my instructions. You're just looking at my end result. That's what I, that's exactly what I do to stamp you. I'm always fast forwarding his videos like, okay, let me just get to the end. And then if I don't understand something, I'm like, mm, I better back up and actually look and see what he did there. That usually answers some important questions. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's just do this wall since I'm staring at it. Along the top here uh, is a, just a solid row of uh, cobblestone. It goes right over there. Uh, and then on the, uh, let's see, from the left, we're going to skip two and then put two here. And then there should be an empty one there like that. And then we're going to go down and, uh, wow, I almost got that in the right place. There's a torch actually right here under this, uh, the right hand one there that we just put down there. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, how do we do this on the bottom, right below that, we're going to go all straight down and then bring that all the way back. Uh, and then skip that first block we're going to put two here and go back to the first one we just put down there and go above it and then one to the left. So it actually should be this kind of little hollow space back there, uh, just like that. And that is that wall done. Okay, so now this one has actually has a little interesting little cave feature in the back here. Uh, so let's see here. All right, so starting right in this part. Yeah, okay, so we're going to put one here and one to the right and go up one and we're going to go over three this time. Oop, just three, just three. Uh, and then skip one and then put that one there, touching that one. Uh, and then go up one and, oh, look, there's a torch here. Let's get rid of this one now. And then cobblestone, there's four of them to the right. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay. Uh, and then on the second one in and up, we're going to put that one there. And, yeah, then one right above the torch. And then, oh, one catacorner, the diagonal, or whatever you want to call it. 
uh, right there like that. So that's like that. Uh, so now what we have to do is uh, we're going to dig this part out under here that looks like a little, one of those Tetris pieces I kind of bring up from time to time. And we're going to replace those uh, cobblestones with uh, black wool, but not this one. This one we're going to leave. And let me put a torch here. It's kind of hard to see what's going on. So we've got these three that I've replaced, and I, I already took this one out. So we're going to actually leave that one, and we're going to replace uh, the wool or the rocks around here and replace it with the black wool. So it kind of leaves that little extra little cave. Now that, that torch is not there, that, but that uh, just wanted to more easily illustrate what that is. Okay, so that is the cave is done. Oh, no, it's not done. Okay, we have the moss stone uh, that has uh, some placements here. And we are going to start... Uh, let's see. We're gonna, we're gonna start over here, right where this torch is. We're gonna line up here, and then we're gonna go to the second block in and change that one to moss. And then we're gonna go down, up. We're gonna go into it three, one, two, three, and then to the left one, and it's that one right up against there. Uh, and then let's see. We'll go to right in the middle of this path here, and we're gonna skip the first one and put these two as moss stone there. And then over here, we're going to line it up with this grass and go to the fourth one in one, two, three, fourth one. Uh, well, actually, the fourth one and the fifth one. Doop and doop. There we go. Yep. And let's see. Okay. So let's just go from here diagonally. We're going to go back to here and then one next to that one. And then in the next row, we're going to go right up against the wall here. And there's one diagonal backwards from that one and skip a block and put one right there. So this is how it looks. Oh, I'm banging my head on the ceiling. I know it. Uh, this is how it looks uh, from there. Or you can do your own pattern or, you know, knock yourself out, whatever. This is just, uh, this is how Stampy's got it. So, uh, all right. Yeah, great. We've done all that. So now we can turn our attention uh, to this area. And we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start over here by the door. This uh, w exactly above the door. This this area here. This this column will not have anything in it when we're done. So just just so you know uh, what's going on here. Uh, so let's see here. Um, gonna go. We're gonna start here with uh, sand, the what is this? The chiseled. I think this is the chiseled. No, this is the smooth sandstone. The chiseled one is one with the, the creeper face on it. So. Uh, this is alternating uh, chiseled smooth sandstone, excuse me, with uh, green wool, actually. So we're going to start here with the chiseled uh, smooth sandstone. I keep calling it that. And just go every other one. Uh, it doesn't merely matter about the corner. Uh, so this is going to be sandstone here and there, here and here and there. And just keep following the pattern. Oops, nope, I, I messed that backwards. That is backwards. Okay. We want to have that in the corner there. Yes. Okay. Uh, so then we're just going to put green in the spots that I left empty. And uh, you don't have to worry about the corner. It doesn't really matter. And there we go. So we should have, it should look like this, uh, something like that. Yep, looks good. And now on top of that, we're going to add one solid row of the chiseled, uh, IKA creeper faced one. And I'll, I'll put one in the corner. Why not? We'll just do that like that and bring this out to here. Okay. And there'll be a door over here eventually. Uh, okay. So then on top of that, we're going to repeat exactly what we did, uh, below on the first level. Um, this is not going to be like a checkered forward pattern. We're just going to duplicate exactly, exactly what we did. Uh, down there on the first row, put a little green there. Green. I keep hearing the birds out there <laughs> chirping in. I don't know if you can hear that uh, in, in 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 your headphones or whatever you're listening on. Okay, so then, uh, all right. So, so from here up, it's straight straight sandstone all the way all the way around uh, on all three sides. So they're just gonna go oh, up to the same level as the uh, the cobblestone on this side. So just up to. Right, exactly where that uh, where that torch is, right up there. So that's going to go up to there. We do not put the do not put the roof on that it's not sandstone. Okay, uh, so bring it right up to that level for all three of those sides with the regular sandstone. And now we're going to take torches and let's see, right here on the second second row up from the green level. So it's like sort of in the middle there. Uh, we're going to start on here on all the far left and then just go every other one on this wall. And then on this wall, we, we can't put one there because that, that one's there. Uh, so then we'll just con, you know, continue the pattern there. And again, over here, 
all the way to there. So that's perfect. Uh, so there we go. That's that's much better. Lots of uh, bright light there. So uh, the ceiling is uh, is going to be green wool again. I, it's, I was kind of surprised that it, it would be uh, the green wool because you figure, well, oh, just put some sandstone up there. I mean, why would you make a ceiling out of wool? And the rest of it is, I don't know. It's just colorful and uh, kind of matches and... Um, there we go. We uh, didn't even use my helper. I even did that one all by myself. So it should uh, should have something like that. Uh, so the door is, let's see, the third block in. Uh, yep. So we're going to put a little hole there. And we're going to need a spruce door. And where are they here? Oh, perfect. And then I just need to open to the left, I think. Oops, uh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Just like that. And we're going to build a little jail over here. We're using regular sandstone. And we're going to use, let's see, it's just like three by three. So the walls in here already act as two of the walls. So we just need to come out to the third block here. Uh, and then put three blocks down here. Uh, three here and so forth. One more uh, set there. And, oh, wait, no. Okay, yeah, three blocks all the way up. There we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then on top of that, it's going to be half slab of of a cobblestone, cobblestone sandstone uh, and that actually helps uh, let some of the light on so on this side we're near the door you're going to punch a hole like right down in the middle here and uh, we're going to need some iron bars uh, this is a case where we actually use iron bars as iron bars <laughs> instead of like you know holding up lights and things like that anyway uh, and then here on the far left side is where the doorway is for that and we don't have any kind of lights or anything in here the half slabs Kind of help uh, let some of the light down from above. Uh, so we just need a little door here, which is, nope, it needs to open to the left. And a lever right to the left of it. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. All right. So are we, are, wait, are we done? Can we be done that fast? This is like the, this is like a fast video. I feel like I could have almost fit this into the last video, but I really, it would have been a really long video. It would have been nearly an hour. Um, all right. Um, let me just check a couple of things. Yeah, it looks, um, looks, looks the part. Um, all right. So yeah, uh, if you, um, <laughs> I would love if somebody out there would, um, make a movie using these sets or, or maybe you can make your own little sets in here, uh, anytime in the future or whatever, if you're, if you're, you should definitely do it and post it on YouTube, send me the link to it. Uh, just put it in one of the comments to say, here's a link to my, uh, you know, video or whatever. And, uh, and I'll try to, I, hopefully I'll see that uh, comment. And uh, I would love, I'd love to, love to see it. And I would love to share it with everybody. Uh, that would be fantastic. I think that would be great. And a great use of, oh, this is, there should not be a torch here. I shouldn't have that torch there. Um, but everything else is good. Everything else is good. All right. Well, let's, um, well, you know, I got to end the, you know, I got to end I got to end this in here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where am I? Whoa, what the, what the heck just happened? <laughs> I pressed the down, I pressed down on my stick to like crouch, crouch and, um, wow, I went right through the floor. That was really weird. Okay. We, we found a glitch people. <laughs> we have found a glitch. Okay. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to use my right stick and press down. Okay, okay, that was crouching. Okay, I didn't really want that anyway. Here we go. I'm Darman68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!